Well, I, I like to thank everybody for this uh, opportunity uh, to uh, join you in this uh, long distant way and just very briefly to tell you about two things which have never, would have never occurred to me when SASI was first formed in 1989. The first thing which uh, I would not have believed and still sometimes a hard time, have a hard time uh, believing it that SASI will keep going and keep getting stronger and bigger and better. Uh, we at that time thought we're going to have uh, one more meeting, maybe a year later, maybe two. Uh, we did not anticipate that so many of you, or many of you are uh, here tonight, uh, will uh, contribute uh, in the many different ways to uh, this organization. Uh, very few people, SASI is their first professional uh, commitment. So to be a, a president, an elected official, a network, uh, uh, one of the executive directors, or just a participant, requires a certain kind of commitment and caring, which so many of you uh, uh, displayed, and for which I'm personally uh, very, very much uh, appreciative. And it bodes well uh, that SASI now uh, has a stable budget, a stable membership, and uh, seems to be a uh, stable for as far as long as I can see. Uh, the other thing which I did not expect is that my concern at that time, which was expressed in the book, uh, which kind of triggered the event which led to Sathi, uh, the moral dimension toward the new economics, uh, was that the theory, the economic theory which I've been struggling with, the so-called neoclassical economics, We've been as damaging as it turned out to be. I always suspected that it's empirically wrong and theoretically misleading and certainly morally defective. But I did not expect in my wildest nightmares to, that it's going to cause so many million of people to lose their homes, to lose their jobs, and to lose their lifelong savings, and to be such massive unemployment. The, the amount of suffering which uh, neoclassical economic created uh, is stunning. I, I just want to take one minute to explain that and then uh, suggest where the mission for SASI is. Uh, I look at uh, capitalism as very similar to nuclear energy. If it's in a well-contained container with strong walls, it can be a source of low risk, very beneficial energy. If it runs amok, if the container gets corroded and capitalism runs free unfeathered, it can create the kind of havoc I talked about a moment ago. Well, deregulation, which followed the recommendation of uh, neoclassical uh, economics and its brother and sister uh, libertarianism is the number one factor which caused uh, uh, this kind of uh, terrible condition we find in so many uh, countries, practically worldwide. So what we do need is to have some of you, I, I know it's not something we can all do, it's uh, if just some of you will come together and, and, and see if we can lay the foundation, elaborate, we are, uh, in effect have pieces, but uh, bring together the, the pieces we have and, and uh, provide for socioeconomic theory, which provide much better guidance, how not to kill capitalism, I don't think we can do that, but how to contain it so it will serve humanity uh, rather than uh, dominate and abuse it. Uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs>